All right, good morning. It's Tuesday of June 2nd, and this week we're just playing with paint. We're going to have a good time and just do some things that you can do with your grandkids or you can do by yourself. You can take it and make it more complicated or less complicated. We're just going to have some fun. Okay, so we're going to make some cards with string pull today. You can do this with your grandkids or by yourself. It's just kind of fun. So we're going to start and we're going to measure our piece of paper. It's a little over 11 and we're going to make a little mark at five and a half. So we kind of have the middle as close as we can. We can always trim it later if it's not quite even. And then just make a, like a line with some scissors or a um, not sharp, just like a butter knife. And you can fold it so that you have your card ready. Then you can take a plate or you can take a little container and put in paint. Now, you can use any kind of acrylic paint that you have. The difference between this paint and the paint that comes in these little containers is this just has a little bit more water attached to it. And this, you just have to uh, put it on your plate and add some water to it. So it doesn't really um, matter which one you use. So we're gonna start off with some red and we're gonna just put some red in our little container and any kind of string uh, that you have around the house, just some regular string, and we're gonna put it all in that paint, except for a little bit of piece to hold onto it. So um, I'm gonna smash it down in there. And then you're gonna take it between your finger and your thumb and just come all the way up like this if it gets tangled a little bit, just kind of go slower. Sometimes that'll happen, especially when you're on video and you don't want it to happen. All right, so we're gonna come all the way out here like this. This is the part the kids like the most. You could take them outside and do this if they wanted to, so that when they've flopped it around, it wouldn't be on your kitchen table. All right, so we're gonna go all the way like this. All right. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna take some paper towels and wipe off my fingers. And stand up. Rich, are we still in the, the thing? All right, and we're gonna take and line this up anywhere we want on this piece of paper. Just so that when it comes out, it has a little string to pull on. And then we'll fold it over, take our hand and kind of hold it down and pull on that string. And you can bring it around, just pull on that string however you want to. You can go out this way. And when you open it up, that's where the magic happens and your kids are like, whoa, look at that. So I'm gonna stop this here, wash my hands. I'm gonna do it with another color. All right, so this is one and here's another one, just to show you a different example. You can put it anywhere you want. You lay it down, kind of wipe the paint off your fingers, fold it over, hold it down, and just pull. And it's just really fun to see how what kind of things it does. Okay, now I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna show you what it does if you use a bigger string and we'll do a different color on both of them. Okay, so this time we're gonna use a darker color and we're gonna use a bigger string. We use that little string and, and you're gonna see the difference between that. And if you don't have that little container, you can just use a, like a paper plate, something that you can throw away. Just mix this in so that it, the string is all coated. And then take it between your fingers and get all the extra paint off. And then we're gonna do the same thing. This one's still a little wet, so hopefully we might get a little bit of mixing together. Okay, so I just turned it upside down and I'm just gonna twirl it around anywhere I want. Kind of wipe off my fingers just a little bit 
close it down and pull. And we have another little design over the other one. So now we're gonna try like the yellow one on the red, just to show you some of the different color combinations you can use. And I'm gonna use the bigger string again. I'm gonna put it in with the yellow. So I'm gonna put it in with the yellow. I'm just going to take my finger and squish it around in there. Take it between your finger and your thumb just so that you don't have big blobs. And wash your fingers off. And then I'm gonna just lay it in there. Anywhere I want. Close this up. Kind of put your hand on it and pull. That's kind of fun. Now, one of the fun things that I like to do with these with the kids is that after it dries, I stare at it and see if I can see something in it. And then I can use like a, a pen and ink and make something different out of it or whatever. But you also can add other things. So like you can take this regular, like a, a dowel or the end of a pencil and you could make a dot. And like if you wanted to add some other things to it, you could take and add dots. You could figure out a design and you can begin to just play. So this week we're just playing with paint. So just experiment. So if you want a, a dot that's thicker, go back every time. And you got two sides to play with, so you can just have fun with it. All right, see you tomorrow.